Ticker tape was the earliest electrical dedicated financial communications medium, transmitting stock price information over telegraph lines in use from around 1870 to 1970. It consisted of a paper strip that ran through a machine called a stock ticker, which printed abbreviated company names as alphabetic symbols, followed by numeric stock transaction price and volume information. Although telegraphic printing systems were first invented by Royal Earl House in 1846, earlier models were fragile, requiring hand-cranked power, frequently went out of synchronization between the sender and receiver, and didn't become popular in widespread commercial use. It was improved with clockwork weight power in 1856, and became viable for commercial use with a resynchronization system in 1858. The first stock price ticker system using a telegraphic printer was invented in 1863 and unveiled in New York City in 1867. Early versions of stock tickers provided the first mechanical means of conveying stock prices or quotes over a long distance over telegraph wiring. In its infancy, the ticker used the same symbols as Morse code as a medium for conveying messages. One of the earliest practical stock ticker machines, the Universal Stock Ticker, developed by Thomas Edison in 1869, used alphanumeric characters with a printing speed of approximately one character per second. Previously, stock prices have been hand-delivered via written or verbal messages. Since the useful time span of individual quotes is very brief, they generally hadn't been sent long distances, so aggregated summaries were sent instead, typically once a day. The increase in speed provided by the ticker allowed for faster and more exact sales. Since the ticker ran continuously, updates to a stock's price whenever the price changed became effective much faster, and trading became a more time-sensitive matter. For the first time, trades were being done in what is now thought of as near real time. By the 1880s, there were around a thousand stock tickers installed in the offices of New York bankers and brokers. In 1890, members of the exchange agreed to create the New York Quotation Company, buying up all other ticker companies to ensure accuracy of reporting the price and volume activity. Stock tickers used the technology of the then recently invented telegraph machines, with the advantage that the output was readable text, instead of the dots and dashes of Morse code. A special typewriter designed for operation over telegraph wires was used at the opposite end of the telegraph wire connection to the ticker machine. Text typed on the typewriter was displayed on the ticker machine at the opposite end of the connection. The machines printed a series of ticker symbols, which were usually shortened forms of the company's name, followed by brief information about the price of that company's stock. The thin strip of paper on which they were printed was called ticker tape. The word ticker comes from the distinct tapping or ticking noise the machines made while printing. Pulses on the telegraph line made the letter wheel turn step by step until the correct symbol was reached and then printed. A typical 32 symbol letter wheel had to turn an average of 15 steps until the next letter could be printed, resulting in a very slow printing speed of one character per second. In 1883, ticker transmitter keyboards resembled the keyboards of a piano, with black keys indicating letters and white keys indicating numbers and fractions, corresponding to two rotating type wheels in the connected ticker tape printers. Newer and more efficient tickers became available in the 1930s, but these newer and better tickers still had an approximate 15 to 20 minute delay. In the early days of baseball, before electronic scoreboards, manual score turners used a ticker to get the latest scores from around the league. Ticker machines became obsolete in the 1960s, replaced by computer networks. Simulated ticker displays still exist. One of the most famous outdoor displays is the simulated ticker scrolling marquee in Times Square. Used ticker tape was used as confetti to be thrown from windows above parades, either cut up into scraps or thrown as whole spools, primarily in Lower Manhattan. This became known as a ticker tape parade. Ticker tape parades generally celebrated some significant event, such as the end of World War I and World War II, or the safe return of the early astronauts. Ticker tape parades are still held in New York City, specifically in the Canyon of Heroes in Manhattan, most often when a local sports team wins a championship. However, actual ticker tape is not used during these parades any longer. Often, pieces of paper from paper shredders are used as a convenient source of confetti. 
If you like these videos and want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.